Welcome to all. Dear listener, Kingdom of God is a very important topic. So we would like to invite you to join our devotion this year. The concept of the Kingdom of God is repeated throughout the Bible. This devotion was written by Dr. Peter Kamleshwar Prasad Singh. We would be honored if this message was a blessing for you. Meditation on the Kingdom of God, Day 307 With the fall, the whole creation entered a different phase, the realm of sin and death. The age of innocence they once enjoyed in Eden and a close fellowship with God had ceased to exist because sin and death had entered it. The man and animals were denied God's presence. They were driven out of the Garden of Eden for eating the fruit of life and they could not return as it was guarded by Sherem's and fiery swords. The blessings of procreation began, and Adam and Eve had children, and so did the animal kingdom. But the life without God led men to the lowest level of depravity. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of thoughts of his heart was only evil continuously. And the Lord was sorry that he had made man on earth, and he was grieved at heart. Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 and 6 As a result of sinning, man had become independent, accompanied by rebellion. Left on his own, one cannot imagine how low man can dip morally. Man had chosen an independent living, which resulted in every intent of the thoughts of his heart, which was only evil continuously. This moral decline of man brought grief to God's heart, and God said, I will destroy man whom I have created, from the face of the earth, both man and beast, for I am sorry that I have made them. Genesis chapter 6, verse 7. Do we preach judgment? No, we don't. We preach and teach the truth. God is love, but he is also holy, almighty, and with other attributes, covenant-keeping God. He has every authority to destroy whatever he has created if it doesn't fulfill its part in doing his will. In Noah's days, the flood was the result. Everything was destroyed except Noah's family and the birds and the animals brought in onto the ark. Should we compare the world situation now? With the people's mindsets in Noah's days? There is not much difference in general. Seeking his mercy is needed. To be continued. Thank you for listening to this devotion. Let's meditate and apply it in your life according to your conviction. Please give any suggestion and comment on this. God bless you. Have a good day.